Hi, welcome back to Talk 1260 KTRC, the humanity behind the vanity. This week we're talking about animal rescue. And um, we're now going to talk to, to Suhana. We're featuring a new organization here in town, Used Pets, All Makes and Models. We were talking about their upcoming event on Sunday, July 18th from 3 to 7 p.m., hosted by Chalk Farm Gallery. Now we're going to turn it over to Suhana <laughs> so she can talk about the event, talk about the gallery, and all those things. Take it away. Okay, hi. Well, um, yeah, this is going to be quite an event. It's just sort of snowballed along without us making almost, it seems like, a single effort. Excellent. It's like it came from heaven, you know, like these things do. Yeah. So um, the event is not just, it's not really just in my gallery, it's the whole area that we sit on, the whole lot. So oh, it'll be great. marquee tents out front. There'll be um, tables and chairs um, for VIP seating, and there's a winery coming. What's the name of the winery that have offered their wine? We have a winery that's offered wine, so okay. they're giving it to us, which is very sweet of them. Very we'll find the name in a moment. Yes, that's okay. That's very kind. <laughs> um, we have the Ben Martinez Project playing yes. for us, which are voted the top ten best jazz band in the whole country. Wow. And yeah, they're really, really good. You can uh, listen to the benmartinezproject.com. And um, we're going to have this incredible um, live art auction. We've got galleries from all over town. July 18th. Donating, I mean, not just little pictures that they can't get rid of, but right. beautiful bronzes. I mean, major artists. We, we, I found this just so easy to get, whereas I did an event last year, it was kind of difficult huh. to get the stuff donated. But we've got somebody working for us, Sky White, she's just been amazing. I mean, she just, she's like waves of magic wand, and all this stuff started piling in. Good. So Ooh, we've got, um, she's got two cruises in the art auction. In the wow. auction. Wow. Two cruises. cruises. We've got um, stays in vacation properties. We've got um, bronzes, sellers. paintings, incredible jewellery. So it's going to be quite an exciting art auction. Yes. And um, and other things. Yeah. Services. We got oh, services. Oh, we've got, we've got also oh, uh, portrait painters coming in from all over the place. Oh. They're actually going to be on site. Oh. So if anyone comes to the event with a photograph of their pet that they'd like painted oh. on site or drawn, yeah. they're going to be painting the pets or the people. Yeah. Um, they're all donating their services. So it's... Um, it's going to be quite a party, actually. Yeah, quite sounds a party. like it. Sounds like a hopping <laughs> yeah. thing. Okay, so let's just reiterate. Sunday, July 18th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., it's benefiting the new organization in town called Used Pets. You can call Chalk Farm, 983-7125, or go to usedpets.net. The tickets are $20 in advance, 30 at the door, and the VIP tickets are 60 What do the VIPs get? Well, instead of just standing around in the sun, drinking wine and eating wonderful food, they'll be able to be under the marquee tent with a named seat. Okay. Uh, you know, a nice round table, the food and wine will be brought to them, and they're okay. right in front of the auctioneer. Okay, excellent. Who's the auctioneer, do you know? Well, we're hoping for Paul Margaret. So, yeah. Paul, are you listening? Yeah. Come on. We, we, we know he's busy, but he is absolutely the best. Oh, he's awesome. Absolutely the yeah. best. So, yeah. um, we're hoping for Paul, but if he yeah. cannot do it, we do have two other people in okay. mind. Okay. But it, they're, they're fun auctioneers. This yeah. isn't a boring a boring event. This no. is something that you're going to enjoy yeah. and that we hope will raise a huge amount of money to get it is started in this incredible project. Yes. You don't do any boring events. You donate your gallery Actually, space a lot. Um, my wow. gallery space, I think, was also like a thing that came out of heaven, really. Interesting. Because, because you moved. That's a long story ago. I don't have time for. Okay. But my gallery <laughs> space being so beautiful, yes. you know, with the plants and the waterfalls and yes. the incredible glass dome ceiling, yes. is a place that people enjoy being in. Right. So. I look at it and I think, well, you know, really it's kind of selfish not to offer this for things that can benefit others yeah. and for the voiceless amongst us. Exactly. And so, you know, I love it when I, I can actually sleep at night knowing that I've helped even right. one animal because how mm -hmm. people sleep at night is beyond me. Yeah, yeah I know. In fact, I read that article <laughs> it really about... Is. I, and I'm the same way and you can ask him because sometimes at 3 in the morning, or, in the morning yeah, last night. Or, or I'll wake him up and I'll say, you know, I need to talk to you about this horrible animal welfare case or whatever I've read about. Yeah. Ben Swan recently mm -hmm. did an article on that pit bull that was found in Valencia County with its mouth wired shut, obviously starving <gasps> to death, and it had, um, you know, open sores because it was the 
bait dog in a oh, pit bull dog that. fighting yeah, thing. Yeah, and they just, you know, put it out. They, they just don't even think. These people, I don't know that they have hearts. I'm not making a judgment. I know Santa Fe doesn't like judgments. But this is my personal view. I just think they must be thoughtless. They must have been raised without a care given to them, and then they pass it off onto these animals yeah. that are as voiceless as they were as children. But, um, I mean, I'm from London. I still had a house full of animals. Yes. When I was brought up in London, my parents would give me rabbits and cockerels and dogs, yes. and we had it all. Yes. So I, they were my friends, right. and I loved them. In my quiet moments, they were my friends. Right. And what I'm finding here is the only animal that they come into contact with is a dog on a chain yeah. that's become very angry because he's, he's suffering right. like hell. Yeah. Right. So that's the contact. So that's why it's so important that Iris is going to go to the schools yeah. Yes. and bring animals to them so they can grow to love them that I was lucky enough to be able to do. Yes, exactly. Love these creatures. I love mean, is what it's about. Yeah, again, this, this is not our audience, but we all, audience and people listening, us talking, we all need to take our voice and our power that we have internally and spread it out there and get the message out that these are sentient beings. These are mm -hmm. things that breathe, they feel pain, they love, awesome. they are tender, and they have no one. Just like yeah. a child, they have no one. Let's say where the gallery is exactly. Okay. Oh, the gallery, of course, yes. If you go to the top of Canyon Road, most of you probably know Geronimo or El Farol. Right. Um, I'm opposite those two places. Right there. uh There's right next door to the public car park, right. so there's parking for all. You don't need to worry about parking. Yeah. Um, and it's very easy to find. Yeah, I think most people know where it is. And what is your website? Oh, um, www.chalkfarmgallery.com. I know people don't say the W thing anymore. He does, Daniel Chalk does. Chalkfarmgallery.com. No, Chalk does. is C-H-A-L-K, not C-H-O-R-K. Right. As you may think from my accent. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> and so they can find out about um, any upcoming shows. You have artists that you're featuring and carrying as well as the event. Yeah, they can actually website. click on that website and it takes them directly to a whole page about the usepets.net. Excellent. Um, it tells them about all the things that I'm doing in the gallery. There's going to be something for wild mustangs and yes. various other prairie dog issues that I'm very worked up about. Yes. Um, but at the moment my focus is totally on the usepet.net and I might actually join them and into their journey into the future and really help them. I, my husband, I'm hoping, will help build the, the shelter and oh. sing things for them because he builds movie props and he's got a whole team of guys there that we're going to whip into shape. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> excellent. Well, let's wrap things up. This is great. My yes. favorite kind of show. So thank you so, so much for having us on the oh, show. Ladies, it's our pleasure. And uh, just want to appeal to the listeners and the audience to please, please uh, join us on our journey to make the situation better for the animals here in New Mexico. Thank you so much. Usedpets.net. Brand okay. new, and they need a warm welcome, people. Send your money. Thanks very much. And next week, we'll talk about how the tickle light bow is going, because it's going great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. <laughs>